What's Gucci, everyone? I'm going to show you guys a handy dandy way to be able to open files via the terminal or command line with Sublime. So you can open all your documents with Sublime while in your terminal and you don't have to look for it in Sublime or a file opener structure. And this is actually pretty easy. So I've got my um, command terminal here and just for you, if anyone's beginning, I'm just going to show you guys kind of a quick overview of what's happening here. So something I can really easily do is I can do some, I can do um, a, a built-in command called echo, and I can echo out hi, and so that printed out hi, and so echo, you know, echo is it's named echo because anything I want it to print out, it prints back to me, and so what echo is, it's it's actually a program someone wrote probably in C that I can now use. Now, if I wanted to find out where that Echo program is installed on my computer, I could type which, yeah, which Echo. Sorry for a second there, I didn't know how to spell Echo. And as you can see, the Echo program, or the Echo executable, is installed in my slash bin slash Echo, is in, is in slash bin slash Echo. And so that is where the computer is looking to find my the Echo executable. But how does my computer know how to look there? Well, the way it knows how to look there is my path variable. And what path is, is your path is something that you defined. It, it's the folders and files that your command line, your shell looks through to find executables and commands within your terminal. So for instance, I can see my whole path, the whole, the whole variety of places where it looks by doing echo dollar sign path. This is a global variable in the shell. And it will print out all the different places, user slash Heroku slash bin and um, slash user slash bin slash bin. That's where, that's where, you know, that is one, it's separated by um, colons. And so slash bin is where echo, the echo is located, the echo executable. So it's looking right through there and then slash user slash s bin. So all these places is where everything looks to be able to find executables such as root, such as you can see here, I have Ruby gems, if you know what that is, and I have um, other kind of default paths. So I'm going to clear that right now, but that's an easy way to see your path. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a link to um, allow sublime text to be able to open it from the command terminal. And what we want to do is simply we want to create a link. And the way we, we want to create a link from where the application, the Sublime application is to where the um, one of my path variables is or one of my path variables is looking. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a link. And the way you do that is with the ln command. And the ln command is is... Well, what if I'm not sure what the ln command does? One thing you can always do to look up any command is you can do man ln, and simply, that will look it up. <sighs> Sorry, Senator Ron Johnson. And ln stands for link, and the ln utility, you know, it gives you a nice description, creates a utility entry um, linked file, which is the same models as the original file. So what it allows you to do is link files. So instead of moving my application to any of the path variables, I'm going to link the Sublime application file to um, somewhere in my path so I can easily reference it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do ln, just like I showed you guys, and I'm going to give it the S switch, which means create a symbolic link. So it's just going to be a symbol. So again, I'm not going to move anything. And so now I'm going to give it the first thing. I'm going to give it where where my application is loaded, is looked at or where do I want my link to go to. And that's for me is going to be in slash applications and I'm using tab to outer complete. So that's how I just did the a slash sublime. And again, I did sublime. You could get sublime if it's sublime text two or sublime text three, you're okay. Or for another version of text, it should be the same contents and then shared support slash bin slash S B L U. And so S B L U is the name of the executable to be able to is the name of the executable that you want. You want the executable, not any like the dot Python files or anything. So that's the name of the executable. And so now I want to associate that with a link inside my path. And so for me or you, you should do, you could, you could make it anything as long as it's within your path, 
but I'm going to do slash user slash local slash bin slash SBLU, and I could call it SBL3. And so what this will do is it'll create a link for me to be able to use Sublime. And I could, if I, and I just press enter, and so that created a link here. So let's try that out. So I'm going to do SBL3, and then, well, I don't have any, do I have any talk, text documents to open up? Um, I really do not. Let me go into SAS here. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a million files. So let's do SBL3 second.html. And as you can see, what happened right now is that in Sublime, just by typing Sublime 3, I could have named it anything, I got I opened up second.html, which is pretty cool. So doing that, I was able to simply just open up in Sublime. And as you can see, I went back to my text, my um, terminal here, and I can continue writing commands. I can clear the screen. I can do whatever, but it's still open. Sublime is still open right here. And so I was quickly able to, you know, go back and forward with my um, terminal links. You can also just, if you want to do this command really easily, you can just make it SBL if that's an easy reminder. You can make this, you can make this part anything you want. Just don't click enter if you don't want it. And that's a pretty easy way to open Sublime. Just make sure you've downloaded the application so you know where to find it. You download Sublime. I'll have the link to download Sublime in, you know, the contents below, and I'll have this command in the contents below. So I'll see you guys later and have a great day.